Please could you switch over? Please could you switch over? I'm looking for the mail. It was here a moment ago. The superintendent has to fill the form. Hasn't that driver arrived yet? Because of the local holiday, we expect to complete discharging on Tuesday. During these procedures, rescue and resuscitation equipment should be positioned on the side. I don't want to walk today. It was windy and icy. The third officer slid and fell, injuring his knee. I'm afraid we don't have enough time to prepare the emergency pump. He fainted outside yesterday. Hi, did you hear about the tanker sinking earlier today? No, what happened? It ran aground off the French coast and has broken up. It spilt 200,000 tonnes of oil into the sea. Oh... Welcome to the Museum of Natural History. This is a recorded phone message. The museum is now closed. Our opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday, and from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at weekends. We are closed all day on bank holidays. Admission is free for children who are still at school and students who produce a valid student card. There is also no charge for the over-60s. All other visitors pay a standard fee of 5 euros. Good afternoon, sir. Your passports and boarding cards, please. Here you are. I'm afraid you're at the wrong gate, sir. Oh, you're joking. But this is flight GR342 for Frankfurt, isn't it? No, didn't you hear the announcement? They changed the gate number. You should have boarded at gate 27, not 17. Oh, no, where's that? Just down there, but hurry up, the flight's about to close. So I hear the PSC inspector is visiting us tomorrow morning. Yeah, and this list shows additional items for Roro ships. Oh yes, and there are three important additions. The shell doors locking and sealing arrangements, the vehicle deck drainage, and firefighting arrangements. I've been told that as far as the doors are concerned, they want us to inspect and test them all. I'm meeting with the loadmaster at 11.30 to check the cargo securing arrangements. Right, and I'm helping the chief officer check the water, fog and foam applicators in 30 minutes. So I hear the PSC inspector is visiting us tomorrow morning. Yeah, and this list shows additional items for Roro ships. Oh uh, yes, and there are three important additions. The shell doors locking and sealing arrangements, the vehicle deck drainage, and firefighting arrangements. I've been told that as far as the doors are concerned, they want us to inspect and test them all. I'm meeting with the loadmaster at 11.30 to check the cargo securing arrangements. Right, and I'm helping the chief officer check the water, fog and foam applicators in 30 minutes. Excuse me, can you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? Mm, let me see. Oh, it's not far. Just cross the street here and go straight on for three blocks. You'll see the bank right in front of you. That's great, thanks. I don't want another accident like this to happen again. Did you make sure the motorman had the permit to work before starting the maintenance? Yes, of course, and I gave them clear instructions what they had to do. They're skilled motormen. So what job were they doing? They were changing the circlips and o-rings on the main engine rockers. So, how come they were scolded? Didn't they have their PPE on? 
They did, but they decided on their own to remove the thermometer pocket in the cooling water system to easy access to the rockers. They shouldn't have done it without my approval. So were you supervising them personally? Well, no. I was busy doing the weekly report. That's no excuse. It doesn't matter how experienced they are. You should have been there watching them. You were really lucky they weren't badly burnt. You know what the problem is with this manual, don't you? Well, judging by the size of it, I'd guess there are probably too many procedures in there. Well, no. We need all the procedures. They are vital, but they're written for auditors and surveyors, so some of it is far too complicated for the crew. I remember in my day, when I was starting out, procedures were clear, simple, and to the point. It was much better then. Sir, I've just received a security call. There's a ship ten miles north of our present position. She's reporting a man overboard. Right. What help do they need? Uh, another ship has answered her call and is making its way to the scene of the incident now. All other vessels in the area are asked to be on standby to join in the search and rescue if necessary. Okay. Have we checked their current position? Yes, sir. Here it is. I figure we are about 40 minutes away. I know you were told to paint that area today, but I think we should postpone it. Why is that, sir? Has the paint been delivered yet? That is not the problem. Haven't you heard the shipping forecast? Well, it seems okay at the moment, sir. It's sunbathing weather, in fact. Yes, but the wind is getting up. It will blow paint everywhere. You know how strict they are in U.S. waters. There are some other jobs you can do instead. Excuse me, but I'd like to change cabins. This one's far too noisy. You mean from the people in the next cabin? No, it's because we're above the disco. And at night we can hear the thumping music all night. My husband and I are in our seventies, and we like going to bed early. We came on this cruise because my husband had a heart attack, and this trip was supposed to give him some peace and quiet. I'm just sick of this noise. I am very sorry. I'll see what I can do, madam. Have you spoken to the new third engineer yet? Yes, he seems like a good guy. Really? I was starting to think he might be depressed or have marriage problems or something. Why do you think that? Uh, well, when I tried to speak to him yesterday, he just reacted like he was deaf or something and completely ignored me. Well, if you were speaking to him too loudly or even shouting at him, he would feel humiliated in public. Men from that culture don't like being spoken to like that. Hi. How was your watch? Any problems? Nothing serious. But about an hour ago there was an alarm in the control room that showed the water level was low in the diesel generator cooling system. But it didn't fall to the critical point. So did you add some water? Yes, but, but keep an eye on the water level during your watch. Okay. Will do. Have you ever been involved in any incidents? Well, actually, there was one a few months ago. We came across a fishing boat that had overturned in this area. Had they set off in heavy weather? No, it was reasonably calm at the time. Nobody's sure what happened. They're still investigating. There's quite a lot of submarine activity in this area, isn't there? Yes, but at that time there were none in the area, apparently. <laughs> 